Hello and welcome back to another video. This will just be a short one. It's going to be a demonstration of this restored vintage travel table and four chairs. I say vintage because it's uh, they're quite hard to find and they're generally dated anywhere between the 50s and the 70s. My gut feeling is it's probably slightly towards the 50s uh, era. Sometimes also referred to as being for classic or vintage cars. Um, what I'll do is I'll um, kind of show you the measurements of it. I'll tell you that some of the restoration work that I've done and then I'll pop up the table and chairs and then I'll, and then I'll put it all back in. But uh, a really cool, uh, fun item. It's just amazing that you've got this kind of wooden suitcase that turns into this uh, perfect table and four canvas chairs for a, a picnic or something like that. So let's crack on. I'll show you the overall condition with some measurements and then we'll open it up. So as you can see, it's kind of, it weigh, it's, it's reasonably heavy. I'd, I'd, I'd estimate about five kilograms. You can see it's almost like a large uh, suitcase, quite, quite narrow here. The dimensions are, around about 50 centimeters high, about 74 meters long, and about 10 centimeters wide only. Um, the condition, you've got this lovely kind of these dovetail joints on the corners. The wood over the years has kind of faded a little bit, but it's okay, it still has a little bit of a gloss. There's just some minor damage just on the, on the lower areas, just down here where obviously it's been rested on the floor, but all in all in quite good condition. Restoration wise, I've cleaned this and then I've uh, used some beeswax to just try and put a little bit of luster back into the wood. Up on the top, we've got these, uh, this metal handle, like metal handle here, uh, and then two uh, metal clips. These were heavily corroded and so I kind of used a very, as gentle as possible as I could grinding wheel, uh, just to remove the surface rust. And then I used metal polish to polish them back up. And again, a little bit of wax just on the top for some kind of protection. So that's the uh, the condition, the weight, the size, and now let's get onto the fun bit of how it works. Oh, in fact, there's, there's some more restoration work that you'll see inside. So simply um, pop it down wherever you want to to use it. Open up like so, and inside we have the four chairs and the legs. So it's probably I might as well show you the chairs now because it'll be a little easier to see. So each of the four chairs just sit in inside here. And they're on kind of this, uh, of, you know, just a simple fold out mechanism. And what I've done for these is um, the previous fabric had all worn away. So I saw some new nice webbing. I've stitched uh, over the sides. So I've stitched in all of there, doubled over each end. And then I've used furniture tacks and re-tacked in. So all you'll really find is there might be uh, a hole occasionally on the ends where the old nails were and they, they weren't ideal and um, but I pretty much got rid of all the nails on both sides re-tacked in there's occasionally there's just a little bit of an extra loop on the stitching because to be honest it was the first time I'd been using a, a sewing machine uh, and sometimes it, well, there was an extra little bit there but nothing that, that doesn't stop them being used um, and as I demonstrate here you can see the size You just kind of perch on them like so. Now I'm, what, uh, 85, 90 kilograms. So, you know, a moderately sized adult could sit on these easily, some, uh, some, some children. And again, all of them are pretty much the same. So we've all been retacked in, all got the webbing. Occasionally I have like just a little bit of a, uh, a thread loop along the sides, but it's nice to have that proper webbing and, and a nice color. So there's the four, there'll be four chairs like so. And then to pop the table up, it's as simple as this. You just take hold of your leg, move it up. And then this lower portion here, you just push into place like so. Again, lift it up like this, push into place. And then once you're all done, as long as you, you, you're not going to lift it like this because it would bend, you just kind of hold it in a way in which it kind of bends inwards. So kind of hold it like this, turn it over, and you've got your table there. 
and then of course you just seat your the chairs around like so and then there's the the kind of chips that were just on the very bottom of the suitcase they're just there this is a tiny bit of wood there tiny bit of wood missing there but you know more than more than serviceable for giving out your classic car or going to a you know a vintage weekend or whatever you've got your four chairs you've got a nice size table for a picnic or maybe playing some card games or something like that i'll just make sure you're in shot yeah you can see all that there and then what i'll do is i'll just reverse it uh, purely as uh, another opportunity for you to kind of see the condition etc so basically just get all your seats and just fold them up Maybe your uh, table just in front of yourself. And what's nice is you can see just how quickly you can put this, uh, this up and then put it away. So you're not having to screw things together or anything like that. Just lovely and compact, so legs straight down. Take your four chairs. Now, although there's two sides, it's easy just to put them all into one side and then fold over. So you're just going to put them all into one, one side like so. Make sure they're not overlapping the, uh, the compartment. Pop your other side over the top. Lock up. And actually you're good to go, you know, literally 30 seconds to one minute. So in summary, that's the vintage uh, 1950s to 1970s. Um, pop out table uh, with four chairs. I've cleaned and waxed the wood. I've removed these and got rid of all the, uh, the embedded corrosion that was in there, polished them and waxed them up. And then on all the chairs, I've got rid of the old frayed uh, canvas um, stitch on the outside and made some new nice green webbing ones and refurniture tacked in. The only thing to mention is there's a little bit of a uh, couple of bits of wood just missing from from the base there and there's a couple of extra kind of loops just in the stitching in the in the webbing but um a really nice unique vintage item uh, if you like the video please uh like subscribe comment share all that good stuff really helps me grow the channel until the next one all the best take care and see you